What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales Related video. So, some very unexpected news came to us today at the courtesy of Gematsu. Um, there has been a trademark for a new Tales of something. Now, we don't know what it is, it, it literally could be anything, but right now, Bandai trademarked in Europe the name Tales of Luminaria. Which obviously could be any number of things. It's really, you know, there's no way to even speculate. But we're going to speculate anyway as to what it could be. It's very interesting. First, let's talk about how interesting it is. We haven't gotten any news on Tales of Arise since, like, some actual news. Like, not just saying, oh, you know, the game got delayed. The last time we got news was, I believe it was at... TGS uh, Tokyo Game Show of 2019. We have not seen a single frame of anything uh, besides that, like, Bandai Namco, like, trailer thing, but that wasn't actually in-game footage, so I don't really count that. Um, we haven't gotten any kind of screenshots, uh, trailer clips, nothing for over a year now. So it is a very interesting thing that they're trademarking possibly their next main title while they're still working on Tales of Arise, and... You know, if they're trademarking their next game, maybe that means most of the groundwork for Tales of Arise is done. Maybe we'll get, like, maybe they just don't want to give us too much information on Tales of Arise going in. Because Tales games have a tendency to kind of spoil a little bit too much with their trailers um, and reveals and stuff before they come out. So, you know, maybe this is kind of their plan. You know, maybe we'll get one final trailer, you know, in, you know, before the end of 2020. And maybe, like, in the first coming months of 2021, maybe we'll get uh, the game's release. Who knows? But that's what's interesting about the fact that they're trademarking something new to Tails. But let's talk about what this could be. The first obvious one is, is it could this be a new main title for a console? Yes, of course. Uh, this could be our first fully next-gen game. So after Tales of Arise being, you know, PS4, PS5... Which it really isn't, it, it's just going to be PS4, but I'm sure it's going to have a graphical, you know, upgrade for PS5, and same thing with Xbox One to Xbox Series X, and then obviously for PC. Um, Luminaria, which probably isn't going to be the name of the game. It could be, it might not be, this could just be a placeholder name, um, names do change over time, um, but this could be our full next-gen game, so you know, maybe like 2020. Uh, three, we get Tales of Luminaria, and it's PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. Um, what it could also be is, it could be some, I don't want to say side game, but it could be like an exclusive like Switch title. Maybe it's just their way of kind of reaching out to different uh, things. Maybe they can uh, utilize the Switch like uh, touchscreen function. Maybe it's going to be a game like that. Um Really hard to say with that, but that is another possibility on the table. Um, most likely, I'm guessing it's probably just the name of whatever the next main console game is going to be, and they're just getting the trademark there. They probably have whatever left is still to work on for Tales of Rise being done with their team. And then the other side of the team that's not needed for these finishing touches is probably starting to work on everything for that. By the way, this was trademarked on uh, October 13th. Now, here's the other possibility. There are people in the comments of this thread immediately saying, oh, it's probably another mobile game, which I don't know where people would get this idea. I guess the idea that Tales of Arise isn't out, so them trademarking a name for another title just screams mobile game, which I'm not going to say it's not a mobile game, but Tales of Crestoria literally just came out in July. I believe it was July when it came out. Which is crazy, because that means we're only like two months away from uh, six months of the game being live. But them to release another mobile game so soon just seems very unlikely, especially with three current running Tales of mobile games. We have Tales of Asteria, which is in its 6.5 year anniversary right now. Um, I honestly don't know how much longer they're going to keep going with it, because it feels like it is kind of slowing down a bit. Um, I would honestly be surprised if... It even makes it to the seven-year anniversary. Well, I mean, I feel like they're going to want to finish the current arc, so maybe it'll hit the seven-year anniversary, and then after that, you know, in the coming months after that, it'll probably 
or maybe shut down. Who knows? I don't know how much money Asteria is making. I know it's definitely not as much as Crystoria and Ray's, but uh, it's still there. Um, and obviously we have Ray's and we, and we have Crystoria for mobile games. I don't know many franchises that have more than three uh, different gotchas at a time, but... And I don't even know what kind of gameplay they would go with, because obviously it's not going to be Tails gameplay, because we have Ray's for that. It's not going to be traditional turn-based, because both Asteria and Crystoria have their own forms of turn-based, so I don't even know what they would do. Maybe maybe Luminaria is a... a <laughs> oh, wow, I just had this thought. Uh, maybe Luminaria is an MMO, like a Tails MMO. That'd be kind of crazy if they do... I, I kind of thought about that, because you have Final Fantasy XIV right up here being promoted. Um... Maybe they make their own MMO. Maybe um, that would be honestly that'd be kind of cool. Like if you had a world where if you had like an MMO world where all the Tales characters just exist in the same universe, you know, like Crystoria and stuff like that, and then you just make your own Tales character, and then you just you know you go on quests and stuff with, and maybe you can recruit the other Tales characters. That'd be kind of interesting. If it was an MMO, I would not be opposed to a Tales MMO at all. Um, so, uh, that'd be pretty neat, uh, if they made that come worldwide. Um, but obviously those are the two main things here. I've seen some people think it might be some type of anime, which I guess it could be, you know, maybe they do some original anime with all the different characters that we know already, but, um, they're not just going to make a Tales anime that's not based off of characters from a game. So if it is really going to be called Tales of Luminaria, it would have to do with old characters that already exist. They don't just make specific anime uh, stuff. The animes are always based off of what we've seen in the games and stuff like that. But um, I find this pretty interesting and pretty exciting. I, Tales of Luminaria seems like an interesting game. It's our first L game since Tales of Legendia. Which, uh, it really does seem like they're kind of throwing out... Which they already did with Tales of Arise. Throwing out the rule of not doubling up on letters. Because, I mean, obviously there's only a certain amount of letters in the alphabet. So, after 26 games, they're not just going to stop making games. Um, but yeah, I find it very interesting. And I'd like to know what everyone else thinks uh, about all of this. Let's just read... I didn't even read what they wrote down here, but... Uh, uh, they filed a trademark for Tales of Luminaria in Europe on October 13th. The trademark does not belong to any Tales of Game. Bandai Namco is currently working on Tales of Arise for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, which was delayed past 2020 back in June, which we already knew. Uh, outside of console Tales of Games, Bandai Namco operates multiple mobile games, uh, mobile Tales of Games, including the July launch Tales of Crystoria and Tales of Arise, and obviously Asteria, but I'm guessing they don't know about that because... Asteria never had a global release. But uh, that's pretty much it there. And uh, I'm very interested to know what everyone thinks. What type of game do you think Tales of Luminaria... It's obviously going to be a game. Like, uh, it's not going to be uh, anything else besides a game. Um, so whether it's a mobile or a console game, and whether it's a main title or it's some kind of like side title, you know, it, it could be like a... Uh, you know, a Tales of the World game where, you know, all the characters are kind of in there and you, like, work alongside them. But uh, I'll be very interested to see what it is. So let me know what you guys think down below uh, about this new Tales of title. Uh, hopefully Tales of Arise has something for us soon because if we start getting more information on this Tales of Luminaria before Arise, then uh, I, I do worry about the uh, success of Arise. I mean, I'm already worried about it because obviously we're moving into next gen once again and a Tales game is going to be a gen behind, uh, just like last time. Uh, you know, both Zestiria and Berseria came out on PS3 and PS4, so they were a little bit behind as well. So we haven't had a game in a quite a while that's actually during the lifespan of a game. So hopefully this Tales of Luminaria is the next main title and it'll be uh, exclusive to PS5 and Xbox Series X and PC so they can really utilize those next-gen engines. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.